Hi everyone, my name is Christopher van Amade and today I'll walk you through a new integration that I've built uh, between Thousand Eyes and Cisco Secure X. Um, the idea of this uh, workflow, uh, it's built inside of Secure X orchestration, is that it takes in a domain or URL as input and it can check whether that domain or URL is reachable from the Cisco Thousand Eyes agents. Right now it's working with endpoint agents, but you can quite easily adjust that to enterprise agents. Now this can be very important when you're doing research in, for example, threat response. You might want to know, is this harmful domain reachable? Or maybe you just blocked a domain using Umbrella or another solution. And you want to verify, is this policy working from, uh, from certain groups in my environment? Um, so this is a sample workflow, you can completely adjust it as you wish. Um, so let's dive into it. So this is, this is the actual workflow, as you can see here. I gave it a little description that explains what it does. Um, it is actually a response workflow, which means that it actually shows up in threat response. Technically, you could also run it from here, of course, but I guess the real power is um, when you use it in combination with threat response. So first it checks what kind of uh, observable it is. If it is not a domain or a URL, it will fail. So uh, right now it's only working with that because I'm doing an HTTP uh, Cisco Thousand Eyes test. So I'm creating an instant test here. And what I'm doing then is I'm grabbing the ID and while basically the results are not back, I will keep looping and sleeping for 30 seconds until the results are back. Sometimes it takes, um, yeah, what I've seen is that usually 30 seconds is enough, but I've also seen it loop twice as well. But uh, between one and two loops is what it will take maximum. It will then grab the results. And when the results are back, it will change the Boolean to true so that this uh, while loop finishes. And it will then send either a confirmation or a wet warning to WebEx Teams. Now, if you're using a different chat app, you can obviously change this uh, to a different, um, um, yeah, different uh, provider. Now, I'm giving a warning here if a domain or URL is reachable, because my assumption is that you will use this workflow to test whether a dangerous uh, domain or URL is reachable. Now, let's check it out. So right here we are in threat response and I have two observables in my um, investigation. The first one is internetbadguys.com. This is a famous bad one, uh, testing uh, domain. So let's see whether this is actually um, reachable. Well, it should not be because my uh, systems are protected by Umbrella and Umbrella blocks this domain. Now, as you can see, uh, the description that I showed earlier shows up here. So I can click on this and you can see that it successfully ran and we can then in here go to view runs and you can actually see that it is running um, and it's now sleeping for 30 seconds. And what we'll also see is that as soon as uh, this finishes, you'll see that we'll get a message here um, that it's either reachable or not reachable. Um, so we'll see that in uh, just a sec. And the nice thing, obviously, is uh, this can be both positive and negative. In this case, it is enforced, so we know that it's not reachable. We can do the exact same thing, for example, with a clean domain, which I'm not blocking. So this should be um, not reachable. And I'll do the same thing here. And we'll wait again. And while we're waiting for that, I wanted to show you how powerful this is, because obviously you can even use the SecureX um, browser plugin as well. So I can also do this, highlight this, I'm in Twitter right now, use the Cisco SecureX plugin to see that there's observables here. And I can actually from here, let it load for a bit, also execute that same uh, workflow which is quite powerful. Now let's see whether the 30 seconds are up already. And as you can see, um, new.nl is reachable for me. See that? That's a Dutch news site, which is reachable. Whereas 
internetbadguys.com is not reachable and it will give me the blog page. So you can see that this actually works. Um, now what I've built into it as well is that the first time that you run it, you can actually uh, un um, skip this and you can actually give this workflow a um, group name that you want to search for. Right now, the default is all agents. And it will then store that ID of all agents um, as a variable. If you want to search for specific groups or create multiple versions of this workflow, just clone it and use different uh, group IDs per workflow. Uh, all of this is obviously explained here. So there are setup instructions where I also explain how to work with these group IDs. All right, that was my um, demo for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me.